Welcome to the MPL Goal Show, the show where we bring you all the action from across the Northern Premier League. We start at Hurst Cross, where two of the top five met in Ashton United and Worksop Town. Worksop came into the weekend having scored a league-high 29 goals in 11 games, and it took just 10 minutes to add to that tally. Jordan Burrow with this early header. Burrow hadn't found the net in his last 10 matches, but he certainly brought his scoring boots on Saturday, this finish making it 2-0 midway through the first half. Ashton have an informed striker of their own in Darius Asai, who pulled one back for the Robins before half-time. But it was to be works up on Burroughs day, the Tigers man quickest to react on the rebound to complete his hat-trick just after the hour. Osai grabbed his and his team's second to set up a grandstand final few minutes, but it proved to be a mere consolation as Worksop moved to within a point of leaders Macclesfield. Next up we head to Nottingham, where Baseford United were hoping to close the gap on the top five. The only goal of the first half saw the home side beat the high line, with Ashley Chambers having the easiest of finishes, this his eighth of the season. Chambers had another six minutes after the break, stooping well to head home across from the right. A resurgent Bamber Bridge came into this one with four wins to show from their last five games, and a low finish from Lucas Weaver gave them a lifeline with less than 20 to go. Then came the equaliser. A low cross in from the right, and the unfortunate Taylor Anderson turned the ball into his own net. But there was still to be one final twist to the tail in second half stoppage time. Another low cross in from the right, and another own goal. This time Will Squires, the unfortunate party. Base would rise to eight, a point off the playoffs. At Broadhurst Park, Mark Beasley was hoping to keep up his 100% start as FC United of Manchester boss, with Lancaster City the visitors. Lancaster couldn't have asked for a better start, Dom Lawson firing home the opener inside six minutes. In Adam LaFondra, FC United have one of the division's top marksmen, and so it proved again as he rifled his side level midway through the first half. Three minutes later, Jordan Buckley completed the turnaround. That's six goals in three games for the former Warrington Town man since his old manager Beasley took charge. But there was still time for a response, and with an hour gone, Lancaster were level thanks to this header from Lewis Mansell. And it was one of FC United's former players, Lewis Coulton, who came back to haunt his old club with the winner, six minutes from time. On to Hebburn Town, who were looking to make it three wins in a row against Matlock Town. The visitors had yet to win under new manager Ryan Creswell, but they opened the score in midway through the second half through Rhys Kendall. And the Gladiators secured the points less than ten minutes later, Charlie Oglesby with the header. Matlock climbed off the foot of the table, while Hebburn stay third. There was only one goal separating Leek Town and Blythe Spartans, who were both in desperate need of a win on Saturday. Leek had failed to pick up any points at home before this one, but Ollie Shenton's finish on the stroke of half-time saw them clinch the win. At Craig Park, Morpeth Town were looking to bounce back from their midweek defeat to Ilkston, with Whitby Town the visitors. Nathan Buddle opened the scoring on the hour, putting the highwaymen ahead. But Whitby came into this one looking to end a run of three without victory, and Stephen Walker ensured they wouldn't return empty-handed. One all it finished in Northumberland. 
Our final highlights of the round come from Warrington Rylands, with the side currently second bottom looking to pick up their first win under new boss Neil Reynolds. However, it was Stott and Tarn who opened the scoring in this one through Josh Scott, just minutes after coming off the bench. Michael Sweet doubled their advantage with this composed finish 15 minutes from time. And the anchors made it three, six minutes from time. This, an absolute stunner from Glen Butterworth. Dylan Dwyer pulled one back as his deflected cross slipped through the fingers of Nathan Harker. But it wasn't enough for the Blues as their league struggles continued.